And Aborigines were experts at botany and uh, knew all sorts of uh, edible plants and things. Like this uh, environment is all rather inhospitable. But the little native bluebells here can be eaten. The flowers are eaten. Pretty little thing. That's a little native bluebell. That's what a native bluebell looks like. They grow all around Australia. They do vary slightly in, in size and shape. Even around my area we've got them. There's a larger size and a smaller size. But they're still basically a little blue star like that. Very beautiful. And they're edible. I've made other films where you can see me eating the bluebells. Seems a shame to pick them though, doesn't it? That's only one, but if it had been raining, you know, if this wasn't uh, some of the wetter areas of New South Wales, like the Central Tablelands, they have far more blue, native bluebells. It's a pretty little thing, so if you're a forager, a wild food uh, enthusiast, you should always know that the native bluebell can be eaten as an emergency food. You could even make a little, uh, a little blue liqueur out of it, couldn't you? You could. It's a lovely little thing. Learn to recognize it anyway. The Australian native bluebell, edible bush tucker, eaten by the indigenous people. Lovely little thing. Let's go and try and find some more. That's another little native bluebell. Uh, it's a bit smaller. It's a, uh, the flower is a little bit smaller. Perhaps slightly less, uh, um, a paler blue perhaps. But it's a pretty little thing too. Let's see if we can get closer to it. I've got it moving in the wind anyway. Beautiful little thing. They do vary in size and in blueness. Of course, if I were filming in the shade, it would look bluer. In the bright Australian sun, it looks whiter on film. Of course, other times of year you might see it with several blooms. Learn to recognise it anyway. just turned around and found all these, lots of them. Look at them, I'll put my shadow on them. See how much bluer they are in shadow? Gorgeous, gorgeous and edible. Aren't they wonderful? Eaten by the indigenous people for thousands of years. Aren't they wonderful? Look how beautiful they are. Oh, they're gorgeous. So I learned to recognize the Australian native bluebell. Can you see how blue they are? The blue can vary and the size of the flowers can vary, vary a bit too and the shapes from region to region around Australia. Look how lovely they are, aren't they gorgeous? Wonderful. Wonderful little edible plant for bush tucker. And we should be growing them more in Australian gardens too, we should, shouldn't we? 
lovely stuff beautiful stuff I'm not going to eat them though, I want them to keep multiplying, don't I? See ya. A little bit of handheld footage here. See how beautiful and blue they are in shadow. Beautiful stuff. Learn to recognize them and remember them always. What a beautiful pattern they'd make on a dress or a piece of curtain material. Lovely. Dancing in the wind. Wonderful. Look at them. Remember them always. And if you're ever lost in the desert or anywhere, anywhere around Australia, you know you can eat them just like the indigenous people do, did and do. I suppose I could have one. <laughs> I have one. I don't want to spoil the beauty of this moment. There. I just had one. See ya. I wouldn't want to be ya. A word here. It's clear that they don't all have the same number of petals. This has got two flowers on the one bush and one's got two, four, six petals and the other's got five. So I'm not a botanist. So of course, before eating any bush tucker, always seek the expert of a bush tucker expert. I'm not one. Ask the indigenous people or bush tucker experts. But here on the one plant, you've got two, four, six and five on the one plant. And some of the ones I looked at had uh, elsewhere some had only five petals, didn't they, if you look at the footage carefully. So they do vary. So you want to know what you're doing, so always seek the uh, advice of a wild food expert. Thanks for watching.